Hi, welcome to the other 167. For a short meditation today, I have taken a topic, Fulfill Your Role in Life. Fulfill Your Role in Life. God is a God of order. We see the universe is ordered meticulously. Sun, the moon, the stars, every created being has a specific responsibility and roles to play. So too in relationship. So we need to live out our roles. When Paul writes to the uh, church at Colossia, to the Colossians, he writes chapter 3, Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as is fitting to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents and in everything for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. The three important points I wanted to bring out on this topic, fulfill your role in life. One, do not exploit or oppress. There is a tendency for the rich to oppress the poor. The government become very powerful. There is a tendency to be to exploit, take advantage, to suppress. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 31 we read like this, Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. We see in the relationship with husband and wife. Husband may be the breadwinner of the family, but he has no right to, to take advantage of that position or exploit his wife or abuse in any way his partner. Abraham was rich and Eliezer was his household head and he treated Eliezer with respect and sends him off to find a partner for his son Isaac and Eliezer facilitated the marriage of Isaac and Rebecca. So we find good relationship, how the masters treat the servants, how the husbands treat their wives, how we people in power treat those under them. There is no place for exploitation or oppression in good relationship. Point number two. Show respect and submission while serving. When Paul writes to the book in the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1, he writes like this, Let everyone be subject, subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. Even when workers serve in a factory, they should be submissive to the foreman or in offices to the manager. So, in life, we should be showing respect and submission to all those in authority. Point number three, align with God's will. Jonathan was the son of King Saul, but he knew the prophet Samuel had anointed David to be the king. He accepted it and pledged his allegiance to David to be his best friend and fulfilled it. So in God's will, we should be able to align when there should not be any divisions in churches or in societies. Paul, when he writes to the Corinthians, because he found divisions, he says, who is Apollos? Who is Paul? Paul I planted it, Apollos made it, watered it. God made it grow. And verse 8 of chapter 3, 1 Corinthians, he writes like this, one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose. Roles are different, one purpose. And they will be rewarded according to their labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. So it's very important to understand that we have to fulfill the responsibilities and purposes God has given us according to God's purpose by aligning with His will. When Peter writes in chapter 3 of 1 Peter 8, Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. So this principle you should bear in mind in all our relationships, 
parents and children husbands and uh, wives or governing authorities with the subjects or masters with the servants there should be harmony in all relationship there is fulfill our roles according to the purpose and plan of god so there are three points i wanted to bring out that is one do not oppress or exploit point number 2 show respect and submission while serving point number 3 align with god's will this we will fulfill the grand design of the creator and bring glory to him i would like to sing a song bind us together lord bind us together with cords that cannot be broken love that can bind us all together to fulfill cords purpose make our presses bind us together lord bind us together with cords that cannot be broken bind us together lord bind us together bind us together in love there is only one god there is only one king there is only one body that is why we sing bind us together lord bind us together with cords that cannot be broken bind us together lord bind us together bind us together in love may lord help us all and bless us with these words thank you thank you.